Alright, this is probably going to be the last episode of this series, because what I have to do is hunt down and destroy the last of the Empire. Now the Empire the remaining provinces. Don't need the Warhurts, the Britonia, Chaos, Dwarf Realms are down to Clan Angrand. Oh, the Empire does have a province! They have Ostermark. Grimgar. Do I have anybody else nearby? Yeah, I do. You're a wog. You're not an army, you're a wog. We're still gonna aim you at Essen. Gribitz. Azag. Azag is here. Azag. Azag. You don't need to heal up. You need to get down to Essen right now. This, also because I don't want this episode to be like five minutes long. <laughs> Not even that, actually. So we're just going to encircle Franz in Essen. Skulk Eye Gouger, also aim for Essen. Ragok. Grievitz. Join the f Join the scrap, boys. Zavastra. Morglus. Oh wait, no, he is a he is a war boss. And he's still recru he's actually recruiting, so. Alright. Morglus Fog Spike. Yeah, I know I'm not researching any technologies because there's nothing to research. Oh, there's a... Let me guess. Peace? Yeah, not gonna happen, friends. Let's try a counter-offer instead of a peace treaty. Oh, all I can do is peace treaty. Sigmar's already damned me, but I don't care. I have Gork and Mork. The god of brutal cunning and the god of cunning brutality. Mm, don't care. Okay, there's a wog in Karak Ungor that fell. Creepit's Corpse Chosen gets a wog. Kazid Board Karak has an unhappy populace. Big bloody deal. Eh. Okay, let's at least get... You know what? I'm not going to wait for the other wogs. I'm just going to get Grimgor here. Grimgor, Morglus... Or, Gre or Grimgor, Grievitz. Grievitz is wog. Which actually should be right around there. Yeah, there it is. Grom. Instead, we're just going to end it right here. All he's got is four regiments of renown. This is just gonna be Okay, we're coming in from two different sides. Or 
The crown commands, yes. Sure it does. Sure it does, Azog. Right, Azog's army. We'll come in from this side. There's friends. Drain his spirit, Azog. Or leech it. Which one's these? Sterling's Revenge, there it is. The Silver Bullets. Sigmar Sons and the Tatter Souls. Yeah, outnumbered by the orcs. It's not very uncommon. Oh, there's a giant observatory. Right there. Leave nothing standing. Bronze is down. Catapults are effectively useless at this range. The last of the silver bullets is right there. The question is, can these aren't can these guys escape? Yes, I'm drawing this out. Part of the reason I'm doing this is because there's the whole, this is the end of the Empire.
And now there are four left. Three. One left, and there it is. Every troop in that army was killed. Let's see if that did it. Pit boss, the Empire is gone. That is victory. I don't think that really matters at this point. Let's be honest here. Archeon managed to come back. Did he? I can kill him again. But if he didn't manage to come back in the time frame, I just won. Survey says... Are you bloody kidding me? The Ever Chosen managed to restore himself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not like the Empire is reduced to is reduced to rubble and everything. Hard to tell sometimes, but hey. There he is. Okay, all I gotta do now is get over there and beat the shit out of Archeon again. So you know what? Lads. Get the boys moving. No. This is one I want Grimgore to lead. I can find a place to put them. Okay, that's actually perfect. Doing it that way is actually perfect. Now, they're surrounding Archeon. Normally the, normally the Chaos Warriors do this by... Just having a massive ar massive amount of armies. Usually three of the, their three main leaders attack you at once. Let's 
Eh. He's got a full army. Let's fix that, shall we? Alrighty, let's see just how long Archeon's new army lasts. So, that means... Green is orange. Because orange is the new black, black is the new green, so therefore green is, the, green is orange? Yeah, these are the things I think about that made it that occasionally made people just kind of look at me funny and walk away when I was a kid. I mean, don't get me wrong, people didn't run screaming into the streets when I was a kid. They did that after I became a teenager. I'm kidding, that never actually happened. And I, I just like to mess with people. Archeon, come out and play! The green tide rolls forth. And the ever chosen is about to be the ever And actually, you know what? I can't think of a good way to end that sentence, so I'm just gonna let it die. As there's very few ranged attackers. It's the Marauder Horsemen and the Marauder Horse Masters that they get. Actually, you know what? Send the big guy. Send the trolls and the, and the giant. Oh, he's got fire. He's got the skull of fire. Where are you, Archeon? Where is the Ever Chosen himself? Still haven't spotted him. He's not even on the map yet. There he is! There's the Hell Cannon. Where are you, Archeon? Oh, he's right there. Some of them are already routing. I mean, Marauder Horsemen are not known for being the sturdiest of troops. Okay, so it's Grimgor Ironhide. Versus a pack of Chaos Poison Hounds. Yeah, I was gonna say, that is not a fight the po the ho that the Poison Dogs are going to win. Please tell me the giant... something got mixed in with... Okay, yeah, something did get mixed in with the Hell Cannon. You need to get in there right now, Grimgor. Bring in the get Bring in Gitznik. Archeon needs a good thumping.
The Ever Chosen versus the greatest Black Orchid war boss ever. Also the giant. Did he just... They broke, and Grimgore won it. That... Well, that takes care of Archeon, and you know what? We have some cap- we have- we captured 86 of them. Let's eat them! That is a victory. Just watch the event. Let's just watch this, because eventually, once I start taking over, because the- remember, the black areas. These black areas here in the middle are mine. I'm just waiting to see the- just- Explosion. <laughs> and this is actually going as fast as it can. This is... Things are starting to heat up and get going quicker. Goblins, 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 goblins. Okay, so at this point I only control maybe half the Badlands. Starting to take over more of them. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, this is after the Karaza Karak. Along, and I'm sorry, taking some of the dwarf dwarf lands. It's really get down to Karaza Karak is actually a very small province. It's a major settlement, but it's a very small province. Once we've watched through this, what I'll do is I'll talk a little bit about the next campaign that I'm going to do.
Yeah, there we go. Return to main menu. Sorry, I just that was running on a little long. Okay, folks. Now, like I said, what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what the next campaign is going to be. Because as you can tell from the background, and as I mentioned a while, a few episodes ago, I do actually have access to the Norska DLC because I did buy the Earlier, I did buy or pre-order Warhammer or Total Warhammer 2. Once that comes out, I will jump over there in a heartbeat, even if it means I'm in, jump maybe in the middle of a campaign. But what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do for the next campaign. Because the next campaign is going to be a little bit different. It is going to be a Norskin campaign. But Norska has two different factions, a lot like the vampires that I do with the vampire counts and the von Karstein bloodline by Vlad. Or Bretonia has Bretonia, Bordelot, and Carcassonne. Who actually don't really differ that much. I have done a decently long campaign playing as Norska, where you play as Wolfric the Wanderer. I'm doing okay with that. I'm probably going to keep that one for myself, just for a fun little side, to, side job. So instead what I'm going to do with this next playthrough, is I'm going to play as Wintertooth. And we're going to play as Throg, the Troll King. I'm going to show you some of his info. That is Throg, King of the Trolls of the North. Like I said, he's a powerful melee fighter. He has Siege Attacker right off the bat. Powerful battle ability, Copious Vomit. Basically, the giant roar that we saw, Throg has that active as an activatable, activatable ability, except it's, he barfs on people, because trolls, man. And he can construct a unique building in Troll Country, which I think is actually where you start. He also has physical resistance, 10% physical resistance for all Norse control and Norse ice troll units. That means that your monstrous units are a lot stronger. Next, all of his units in his, every unit in Throg's army is immune to attrition. That's a huge deal, because attrition is what really hurts you. And then finally, you have 15% less upkeep for all trolls. Norskin and Norskin Ice Troll units. His additional starting units, he yeah, starts with Norskin Warhounds, which are... I think the Chaos Warhounds, but these are bigger and beefier. They cost a bit more, but they're tough. The Norskin Trolls, these are regular trolls, effectively, but they are a little bit stronger than normal, I think. And then we have the Ice Trolls. These come in a group of six. Whereas regular troll, I mean, both, both the trolls do, but... Let's take a look at the health. Oops, sorry. Let's take a look at their health. 3,342 compared to 3,342. The main difference is their melee attack. The regular troll has a melee attack of 36. These have a melee attack of 40. And that symbol, these are frostbite attacks. They, they basically do cold damage. So like I said, next time, we'll be starting off as Throg, the Northern Troll King. And because this is Wintertooth, just think about it. Winter is coming for the su for the southern weaklings. I'll also introduce you guys to the hunting system that Throg and Wolfric both have. I'll talk a little bit about Wolfric next time, but for now, I have been D. The orcs have won, so next time we go to war as the Troll King. If you enjoyed, please share a like or favorite the video. You can also leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say.
As for that part, though, folks, good night and good gaming.